and she's in the mirror and she's just stiff and it's a pop. I don't like those um those outfits that you blow up with air. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Hello, it's Shante here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. Thanks for joining. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a try and haul using the clothes that you see here in the background. They're all from Misguided. These are from the Misguided and Sean John collection to be exact. I don't know about you guys, but when I saw that Misguided were doing this, I was so gassed. I knew I wanted my next try and haul to be from Misguided because I haven't done a Misguided haul on my channel before. And then when I found out that they were doing this collaboration with Sean John, I thought, you know what? Let me just wait until this collaboration is released. Do you even know who Sean John is? Right. Do you even know who Sean John is? I just start my own fashion line. I feel like I have something to offer to the fashion world. And I, um, I just threw myself in as a designer. So my expectations for this collection are very, very high. I just want to see if the quality is on point. I hope it fits perfectly. Like I honestly have no doubts about this. I feel like if they execute it correctly, it would absolutely bang. I'll also talk about if I like the material, if I feel it's comfortable, and also if I think it is worth your money. The only thing that I didn't get and I wish I did was like a coat. At the time I thought, I've already got a coat for winter, I don't really feel like I need to get another one. And I wish I did because the coats were actually really nice. But I managed to get my hands on everything else that I have my eye on. So if you guys want to see what I got, keep on watching and into the video we go. So the first item that I bought is this crop top here, as you can see. So if we come a bit closer, it's got like the Sean John logo at the front. Um, it's quite stretchy. It's like a rivet material, but it's very very thick like the quality on this is really good I'm impressed. There's like a misguided label at the back also But other than that, it's really nice and stretchy and comfortable. It was either this or the bodysuit that I saw well, I don't know if it was a bodysuit or like a tank top, but I felt like this just looked the best to me So I really like it. It's comfortable. You can style it with loads of different things like even like joggers that I'm wearing here These aren't from misguided by the way, but I'm just wearing them for now. Joggers, jeans, anything you think of it will go really well. So this I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 just because it's comfortable and you can wear it with different things I also got this jumper here. It comes in a set with some cycle shorts. If I come a bit closer This is it. It's got the Sean John logo on once again. I'll move my necklace and then it's got this like stretchy band. It's a bit loose for me. This is a size 10, but I also got it in a size eight. So I'll try the size eight on and I will show you that also. Quickly show you the back as well, close up. I'm really impressed with the material and the way that it fits. I really like this one. So I'll show you it now with the matching cycle shorts. These are the cycle shorts together with the top. I absolutely love this 10 out of 10. Like there's a mirror here by the way. So if you keep wondering why I'm looking, that is why. So these are the cycle shorts, if I can pull them up for you. Amazing. I'm gonna come a bit closer, give you a close up of them. I really love these cycle shorts, they're stretchy. So it's like a velvet material, it has a bit of stretch to it. I got these in a size 10. I'm usually a size 10 in bottoms anyway, so it's a perfect fit for me. Turn around as well. I know that winter is coming, but I will be wearing this, don't you worry. <laughs> It fits really nice, it kind of sucks you in as well. But I get bloated a lot of IBS. And I feel like this really flattens me out. So if you have any lumps or bumps, these cycle shorts will be amazing for you. I'm gonna try these on now with the size eight top just so you can see the size reference difference. So here I am again, this is the size eight version of the top, as you can see. So it's a bit more fitted. The band fits me a lot better. There isn't much um, of a gap, it's a lot better fits me more nice it's a bit tight fitting looking but I don't know do you guys think I should keep the size 8 or keep the size 10 I feel like the size 8 definitely fits my waist a lot better than the size 10 does but yeah need to get in the gym now working my booty <laughs> so this is another part of a two-piece that I ordered so these are the leggings I've got a matching top I'll show you that in a minute but let's focus on these leggings for now so it's the same kind of material that I had on the Sean John crop top that I was trying on earlier. So it's got a little misguided tag here. The Sean John logo is on the thigh, the upper thigh. It's that same rib material. It's a bit of a weird, it's not very comfortable. I think I find it quite restricting on the legs, whereas this material in the crop top wasn't as bad. I do like the colour, you know, baby blue is my favourite. I do like the way it fits. I feel like the material is just something that you have to get used to. 
It also has like zips, the ankle area here. I couldn't unzip this leg, I managed to unzip this one. Let me see if I stand all the way back, can you see? Probably can't see, but let me like lift my leg up. So like the zip is there. I wouldn't even wear it like that to be fair. I'll probably just wear it zipped all the way down like a normal legging. But that's it, close up. So I'm gonna show you the matching top so you can see how that looks on also. I feel like as you put it on, it's a bit stiff. It's like the material feels very stiff. <laughs> like I literally can't think of any other way to explain it. The way it fits, it's very like, you know like that episode of um, White Chicks where she tries on the two piece and she's like, <laughs> And she's in the mirror and she's just stiff and it's a pop. Mm. Honey, just relax, breathe. Yeah. Like, literally, that is what I feel like wearing this. But yeah, I'm gonna zip it up. Hold on, let me come a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm working with here. So it's got two zips. Also, please ignore my nails and they're doing, I know. So let's zip it up. Oh. Wow. Okay, so look, it fits really nice. Look at that, my waist is looking snatchery. Accentuates my waist, accentuates my hips. Do you know, it looks nice in that sense. I do like the way it looks, I like the way it fits my body. I just don't know if it's something that I would actually keep. Bearing in mind they had this in black also. I think they had it in pink, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But it also has zips here on the sleeves as well. It looks casual, so you'd want to wear trainers with it, but because it's so fitted and a bit sexy, you'd want to show, you'd want to wear heels, you know what I mean? On to the next item. So now on to this dress. I also got this as well. I'm really glad that they decided to add some dresses into this because I know that Sean John is more like casual streetwear, which I'm all for, of course. Let me zip it up now. Ooh. I love this. Yep, this is a bit of me. You know, I feel like because the dress is so fitted and tight, the sleeves should have been fitted and tight too. But it's not that big of a deal. It's quite nice. So if I come a bit closer, you can see that it's got the Sean John logo there. I feel like if you're a bigger boob, then you may need to go a size up. Mine are just about fitting in there and I'm not wearing a bra, I'm wearing nipple covers. So if I had a bra on, I don't think I'd be able to zip it up the way that I have. Um, you could also wear it like open as well, which I think looks quite cute. It's a bit more room to breathe if you are bigger on the top. This is a size 8. I really like the way it fits. It fits nice. Accentuates my body really well, just like the two-piece did. But it's better because it's more breathable. I love the colour. This also came in navy blue. I actually love the navy blue one and I was thinking about getting it. But because I already had this navy blue two-piece, I thought let me go for something different. And I'm actually glad that I went for the pink. You know, like back in the day when um, Paris Hilton would have a little chihuahua or whatever kind of dog it was, you carry it in a little purse. Like, I feel like this is that outfit. You know, you're walking in this dress, you get your little puppy in your bag, and you're thinking you're cute, you get your shades on, your hat and whatever. I feel like this is that kind of vibe. So I'm all for it. And I'll show you the back as well. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Love the fabric that they used. I think it's perfect. So this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now onto this jacket. I'm loving the way it looks already. Let's see how it looks on the body. Okay. Ooh. I'm liking this one. Oh, and you can... Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, there's no, po oh, there's no pockets. Oh, that's a shame. Now, if this had pockets, perfect. But you know what I really am all for? These little drawstring pulley things because you can cinch it in at the waist i mean and you guys know i love a good fitted silhouette <laughs> sean john logger here again on the chest piece oh it doesn't have a hood either i feel like if it had a hood if it had a hood and if it had pockets and if it had um, enough fabric to like go up to my chin, nose area, proper, 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna have to give it a strong eight. I was gonna say nine, but I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10, just because it's, everything's great. Just that there's a few tweaks that could have been added to make it a lot better. So here is the next item. I ordered these joggers here. 
So they're just normal basic joggers, the white. And then you've got the Sean John logo here on the upper thigh. Once again, the misguided tag there on the side also. Um, these are very comfortable, nice and light. They're a bit baggy though, baggier than I thought they were going to be. I'm very surprised that this is a size 10 and it's very baggy on me. Look at that. You can't touch this. You can't touch you know what I mean? Like hammer, hammer time? What's that dance? <laughs> Oh my gosh, hammer time. I'm gonna have to get a size eight because I feel like size 10 is a bit too much for me. I've also got a matching jumper to go with this. So I'm gonna put that on now and show you that. What is this? Like what actually is this? I look like a cloud. Like, I understand that it's supposed to be oversized and I understand that back in them days like oversized was like it that was a thing but this is not it so I don't like those um those outfits that you blow up with air do you know what I mean I don't even know what they're called I'm so disappointed in this oh, I'll show you the back of it anyway it's got the um Sean John logo at the back too like look at the first of all you got the trousers making me look like MC Hammer and then you put the top on and the top doesn't do it any justice either and even like I mean if I tied it like this it would look okay tied it up and then like tuck it in I suppose it's kind of no it's too much fabric this is a size 8 as well you know this is a size 8 so you're telling me that I have to get a size 6 imagine what size 10 would look like if I got that <laughs> okay on to the next one the final piece that I bought so last but not least, I have this hoodie. I don't even really like pullover hoodies, but I love the way this looks, because you can see it's got like the Sean John logo here. I'm not going to get it onto my head with my makeup on and with these braids in. It's just not going to work. Can you even see me? I don't think I'm going to be trying it on for you because I don't want to risk getting any makeup on there. But you get the idea. So it's a pullover hoodie. Oversized. Really, really oversized, just like the white jumper. And there you have it. So that was a final item. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what your favourite pieces from the haul were. Let me know if you've bought anything from the collection that I haven't had. And if you thought it was worth the money. Also, let me know what you want me to do in my next video. If it's going to be another try and haul from Misguided or any other brand that you can think of, just leave a comment and I will try my best to make it happen. But once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.